Hey, my name is Cairo and we are gonna react to how this guy is making money cleaning pools. He's making between $89,000 and $100,000 a year cleaning pools. I'm gonna add in a little bit of my advice on how he can even increase it further and limit the amount of time that he's physically putting in cleaning the pool. So let's dive right in. But before we do, crush that like button and let's check out the video. As long as I'm bringing in $1,200, Every other week, everything would be good. All I need is 15 pools. My name is Mark Jones, I'm 32 years old. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm the owner and pool tech at Blue Street Pools, and I'm on track to make between 89 and $100,000 this year. All right, so that is the first key. He owns the business. So he's the owner and the operator of Blue Street pools now if we check i can pretty much guess that the average pool cleaner does not make close to a hundred thousand dollars a year so let's have a little peek at that twenty six thousand dollars a year so there's a huge difference <laughs> he's making almost four times as much and that is because he's a business owner so if you are working for somebody else you are not making the big money I grew up in Los Angeles, California. Mom was a teacher. My dad worked for the IRS. Stepdad worked for the light company. So I uh, grew up with a real loving family. That was my dream. I thought I was going to the NBA like everybody else who plays basketball. Yeah, me included. I also thought I was gonna be a pro basketball player until I realized one, I was too short and two, I was not good enough. <laughs> so instead I gotta make do with uh, music and business, but I'm, I'm good with that, I'm good with that. When I bought my house that had a pool in it because my wife, she wanted a pool, so we bought a house with a pool. Yeah, that's something I'm learning as a newly fianced person that you do what the wife or the fiance suggests. It's not much of a suggestion, more like a direction. And I told myself, you know, hey, I'm young enough to figure this thing out. I got the pool, babe, don't worry about it, I got it, you know? But I didn't even know how to turn the filter system on. And that's what I love about YouTube is that you can actually learn how to do pretty much anything, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on something like Skillshare. And if you wanna get two free weeks on Skillshare, I'll pop a link down in the description below. But this is the pool where it all started right here. And where the idea from the business came is when my neighbor across the street asked me who was cleaning my pool and I told him I did. And he said, look, I'll pay you what I pay my other guy because I'm not impressed with his work. Um, you just come across the street whenever you can, and that's where I was like, okay, this is a business. But that's where it really got tight, when I got my first account, because now it's like, okay, Mark, you live across the street from him, so you can't come half-stepping with this, bro. Like, you gotta clean his pool, and they gotta be clean, and it's giving you a shot. You can't be messing up if you're doing your neighbor's pool. Really important, and especially with a business like this, word of mouth and referrals are so crucial. Now you can add this to your own business, even if it's not a pool business, you can add these kind of elements of uh, extra risk. So for example, now on YouTube, I'm documenting things that are going right and wrong in my different business ventures. I'm trying to get to a million dollars in the next three years and I'm sharing my mistakes. So it adds that accountability. So people can call me out in the comments and be like, oh, that was dumb, or that was dumb, or that was dumb, or you shouldn't have done that. And it keeps you honest and it keeps you motivated to do work. Cause you're like, oh, every week you gotta put out a new video. And if you don't put that video out, then you know that you have let down your subscribers. Even though I don't have that many subscribers, but if you wanna be one of them and you're not, click the subscribe button. Okay, gotta point out the irony that he was making less than 30,000 working for a company called Enterprise, and then he started making close to 100,000 by forming his own enterprise. Once I you know, got fired from Enterprise and I took it serious when I went to Curly, I said, man, I think I'm gonna start my own pool business, man. And he was like, if anybody can do it, you can do it. And lo and behold, I zoomed out pools all over the place. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Just in my subdivision alone, there was 38 pools. I started passing out flyers. Within one week, I was at five accounts. 
Yes, that is amazing. It's so clever. We got so many little bits of technology at our fingertips that we can use to start businesses. There's simple little businesses you can reach out, like with social media marketing. You can just reach out to local businesses around you using something like Google Maps. So that is brilliant that that's how he found his first few clients. And once you get your first few clients in a business like this, a lot of it is word of mouth. So if you have no money, you can go out and steal some of these tactics. Go clean some pools. Go you know, in Christmas time, remove Christmas lights or hang Christmas lights for people. You can clean people's gutters. These are all really simple things that you can do just in your local neighborhood to make a little extra cash. Before, while I was driving, you know, building, building my business, I was like, look, all I need is 15 pools. If I get 15 pools, I'm only working two days a week. I'm bringing home that $2,400 a month. Well, I started getting serious about it March 2020. In March, April, it's right before swim season starts, and that's where all these people's pools are green. And that's where I make a home run. I'm at your house two, three days, make six, six hundred to a thousand dollars. So the pools might be green, but that's making him the green. Oh, oh, okay, okay, bad, bad joke. Flipping your pool, and then on top of that, you might pick me up for service as well. The worst pool, oh man, that I ever done. It's a blood ground pool full of, oh man, full of spiders. So that's a good point. He charges between 180 and 300 to clean a single pool. But the recurring revenue, that is key for every business, right? You wanna get that recurring revenue and that is the maintenance. So he might say, okay, for X amount of dollars, I'll come back once a week or every second week and we'll keep that going. And that means for the summer periods, he has that ongoing consistent recurring revenue, which is gold. Just walking on water, leaves everywhere, like just like, look like the pool hasn't been touched in months. It was so nasty, it, it stinked. It got to the point where the algae was caked up. It, it just, it, 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 usually it takes me two days to get a pool right. This one took me five days because it was so bad. I charged them $700 for that pool. I ended the year at, I believe, $44,000. That's what I made from March to December. I'm going to make six figures, but uh, six figures when I wanna be oh, over $100,000. I'm on track to do that because it's summertime right now, and my biggest month so far this year uh, was around 8,500 in one month, and that was in the winter time. That's pretty awesome that his biggest month was actually in the winter because this business is fairly seasonal. But like I said, with that recurring revenue, if he can maintain those customer relationships, then he can build on year on year. Never know the poor guy pulling up in this. <laughs> Incognito, bro. So I'm doing pool consultations and repairs on Mondays. Tuesday through Friday is my route. Nothing gets in the way of that. If you need a repair, like really green pools are when I, I really start them on Saturdays because it takes a couple days if I have to, you know, do my treatment to it. It takes a couple days for that to work. I don't work on Sundays and then when I come back to work on Monday, I finish out the project for the green pool and get you back rolling. This morning, I hit my first pool at 6.30. You know, everybody else is asleep. I'm up cleaning pools. So that is the main thing that I think he can improve on. He has got 40 accounts, but he is doing them all himself. And as we saw earlier, the average pool guy gets paid twenty-five to $30,000 a year. So he could easily hire a couple of people to help him grow his business. He can take more of a backseat managerial overview, manage the people, put systems in place so that they can clean more pools and he will make far more money for less of his time. He is at the point now where he needs to be the business owner rather than the employee of his own business. Well, really seven to two o'clock is Tuesday to Friday is, you know, that's, that's kind of my schedule. I gotta be back in time if my wife is working to get the kids. And if I don't finish my route, once my wife gets back home, then, I'm, then I'll go back out and just hit a couple more pulls. Hi, camera! 
on my easy days, my oldest son, his name is Dallas, he's about to turn seven. He's been working with me since he's been five. All his job is to do is, hey, when you, when you go to the backyard with daddy, you find those skimmer baskets, and all your job is to do is to empty out the skimmer baskets, but I'll pay you $5 a pool. He's an entrepreneur himself. He's a, he's a part owner of the company. Now, that's so nice to see, and actually it's super important, you know, for kids to get that entrepreneurial bug, like when they're young, and to earn what they are getting as pocket money. So that little kid, he's been doing it for two years already. He really appreciates the work, and as he gets older, I mean, that's a logical hire for his dad, but he can get real employees involved as well and reduce the amount of time that he's putting in to the manual labor aspect of it. I'm in control of my whole schedule. I never worry about missing, a, you know, a graduation, a game, or if my wife is working. He is true to his word. Blue Street Pools is where it's at. I tell everyone, if you want your pool clean, you get him. You get him. Absolutely. Yes. And that is what I was talking about. That word of mouth and those referrals are golden because people like, like her will tell her friends. She's got a huge network. And for when you're starting out a new business, especially one like this, it's that network effect of the neighbors speaking to the other neighbors. And soon you are the go-to pool cleaner for the whole area. Yeah, I've seen a few of these pool cleaning TikToks and it's like so cool because people love to see the before and after and that's what TikTok's all about. Like you wanna like set up the story and then they wanna see the resolution towards the end and it's really easy to make it a series. Like for his disgusting pool that he did that took him you know, several extra days than his usual pools, he probably did a TikTok series and then people see the one and they go back and they wanna see the other ones. And TikTok and YouTube and those things, these are all other platforms that he can use to monetize down the road. You know, he might be able to build his business up with the brand name in different areas. I mean, that's what I would do. Fifty million views, exactly what I was talking about. All I know is that I was a frustrated customer at one point and I didn't know what I was doing and I wish that I can go somewhere and see something where they simplified this process for me. And I think that's why people have gravitated to my page, not only the person doing the pool maintenance, but also he's actually teaching me how to take care of my pool. Right, so I don't know if this is what he's doing, but this is absolutely what I would do. I would start off using this huge audience that he's built, 1.5 million followers on TikTok, and I would start doing some affiliate marketing. So I would work with other companies, uh, even just Amazon, and have an Amazon affiliate link there, push people to purchase from your link. They can buy their pool cleaning products through that link, and then he will make a commission. So on Amazon, the commission re levels are relatively low, but he could potentially increase those commissions by going through a different company, maybe Walmart in the US or someone else that sells pool supplies. And if he wants to go extra next level, he can start up his own little e-commerce store. He can do that through Shopify. We can build a funnel in something like ClickFunnels and then actually sell pool products through his brand directly to his followers, which is kind of amazing if he's leveraging this social media growth that he's fantastically built up, he can really profit from building up his own little e-commerce store. My wife has been with me every single step of the way. And when I got fired from Enterprise and I told her, I'm not going to work for anybody else anymore ever in my life. He didn't get fired, he got fired up. <laughs> she was like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I am positive. And she was like, Okay, I trust you. She was, she was the one bringing in the checks. She was the one paying the bills while I'm still figuring it out. And she never made me feel like I was this small. We figuring this thing out. We're in this thing together. I, I really love her for that and just being the person who she is because without that support, I would not be where I am today. It's definitely the foundation of, you know, where all of this success is coming from. Oh, I'm getting a little bit most thinking about all that stuff. You know, it's so sweet. My fiance says I never cry, but I'm starting to feel it right there.
No. <laughs> so all in all, that is an amazing video. Super inspiring. CNBC, make it. Shout out to you guys for the original. I really love the series that they're doing on the job. So some of my main takeaways on how he can take this and scale it even further. He is currently trading a lot of time for money, which he can sort out by hiring extra staff, right? That's really easy. He can hire people, pay them $25,000, $30,000 a year, and they will be able to attack way more pools than he can do by himself, even though he's using his son for a little bit of help <laughs> on the weekends cleaning those skimmer baskets. Next, I would use that social media following that he's built up on TikTok and I would leverage that and move from TikTok into YouTube as well because YouTube, if he's making videos about how to clean a pool, people search for that stuff and he can generate some passive income along the way from doing that. Then I would also definitely leverage that following by putting in affiliate links to things like Amazon pool cleaning products or Walmart pool cleaning products, or even better, start his own e-commerce store, which you can do on Shopify or ClickFunnels, and then he'll be able to push those people that are looking at all of his social content on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, he can push them to his website and he can convert those followers into customers, which essentially that's the name of the game, right? Now, let me know down in the comments if this video, the original video, my video inspired you to do something yourself. Maybe you can go clean some pools. Maybe you can go clean some gutters from buildings or from houses. That's a great way to make a little bit of extra money as well. And maybe scale whatever else you're interested in. Now, I recently bought a couple of businesses, so make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the stories about how I bought those businesses with no money out of pocket myself. And if you want, there's a link down in the description. You can schedule a call with me and I can guide you through starting an Airbnb business from scratch. I got four Airbnb apartments that I rent from other landlords and it gives me a very sweet bit of passive income. It only takes me about an hour or two of work a week. Now, I'll also pop a link down in the description so you can get two free stocks from Weeble. That's some basic free money to get your investment game up a few notches. And crush the like button for me if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. I'll be making videos kind of like this and all about my hustle to get to a million dollars over the next three years at least once or twice a week. So YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video next. <laughs> Check it out, I'll see you in there. Let's hustle together.